iconic photographs of the past century, actually probably both centuries, lunch atop the skyscraper. I don't know what that noise is. <laughs> Cut it out. Um, I met Sean Quillen and his brother and producer Eamon in Galway this year, my first trip to the Galway Film Festival where the film premiered. And I, I think, like most of you I'm sure, had seen the photograph over the years, but only after seeing this film do its mysteries begin to come to light. It's a beautiful film, and uh, you're all probably going to think that you've got relatives who are sitting atop of that beam, because that appears to happen every time somebody sees it. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce the director, and please stay, because there will be a Q&A after. Please join me in welcoming Sean O'Gwillan. Rumagi, should I be the kid with the low bacon? Uh, yeah, when uh, in shop two for Toronto, you might have a little bit of help. Uh, Mr. Tigley, I'm sure I shall say, Mum. We, we. I asked if anyone recognised anyone know what I was saying, but uh, my brother Aim on there. So I just want, I'd like one person here that understands that. Uh, Rumagi, it's a great honour for us to be here. Uh, an absolute honour for us to have our film showcased here our first ever feature documentary. Uh, shown here in TIFF. Uh, we are absolutely indebted to uh, Michelle uh, for coming to Galway, for watching our film, and for inviting us here to uh, one of the best film festivals in the world, um, and for showing faith in us in our film. So for that we are absolutely delighted to be here and we, are, we uh, thank her so much. Um, I've only been here two or three days, but the couple of days since we've been here, we've, um, we've been absolutely inundated and we've been overwhelmed by the response that we've got to the film. Um, we, we knew there'd be a good reaction, but we didn't think the reaction would be this good, uh, and that there'd be such an interest in our film. It's, even though we've only been here a few days, the, the respect and the uh, love that you have for films, you know, you're an example to, to every other city in the world. Uh, if only every other city, if half the cities in the world, and some of the cities in Ireland have as much respect and love for their films as, as you do, uh, I think um, we'd all be in a better place. Um, Last Wednesday we, we had a reenactment uh, in the Young and Dundas Square nearby here uh, where we had, uh, we did a Toronto version of the photograph. Um, albeit five foot from the ground. <laughs> Rather than the 800 feet that um, happened in 1932. We did that with the help of Mike Dix and the uh, local iron workers here in Toronto who, as I noticed as I was flying here, there's a lot of building going on and the iron workers are a lot of work too. Uh, work. So uh, I'd like to uh, thank you especially and a special uh, welcome to uh, the iron workers who are, who are here, who are living city. I'd like to thank uh, TG Cahart, the Irish Language Station in Ireland for financing this film and a lot of our films. The board still on the air, the Irish Film Board, uh, to the Broadcasting Authority of Ireland. There are many people I'd like to thank, especially our crew, um, Raymond MacDonald, the director of photography, our editor, our fine editor, uh, Dolly Collins, and he couldn't be here tonight, he wants to be here, but his family is here, uh, so I welcome you all. So, uh, thanks to my brother, my producer, who puts up with me, and uh, he'd know what I mean by that. Um, so, uh, the final thanks to, to all of you uh, who have come here to spend your Friday night and spend your money uh, to watch the film and to uncover a story that I really think you all have, a, we all share. Uh, even though it's 11 iron workers sitting on a beam that we don't know uh, who they might be or have no relations to them, I think we all feel a strong bond with them. And I think uh, hopefully by the end of the film that bond will be even stronger. So, I'll start with the end of the show.